from San Francisco, California. This is the Rock and Roll Geek Show. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name's Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. A little different again today, or not again, but a little different today. This is day one of something called the 12 Days of Podcasting. A similar, little similar to the Dog Days of Podcasting uh, back in August when me and several other podcast nerds did a show a day for 30 days. Well, me and several other podcast nerds are doing a show a day for 12 days in November. I don't know how many nerds are doing it, but uh, I'm one of them. I may be the only one. I don't know. I kind of doubt I'm the only one, but I don't know. So I'm doing a show a day for 12 days, and this is day one. If you're a new listener of the Rock and Roll Geek Show, first of all, thank you for tuning in. And if you just found the show because you were Googling a Rock and Roll Podcast and came across this one and you're saying, why, why do I want to talk about some, why do I want to listen to some douchebag talk about his day? Well, go back and check the archives. Maybe there are some ones that you might want to hear. This, this show is not for everybody, but if you're a fan of rock, uh, eventually you'll probably like the show. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, today, like I said, is day one of, of the 12 days of podcasting. If you're a rock and roll geek, friend of the show, lo- uh, loyal friend and listener thanks for tuning in again friends I try to keep I'll try to keep these uh, daily shows relatively short I'm on my way back right now first of all I'm recording in my car and I'm using boss jock so if the, if the sound quality is different hopefully it's it's listenable if not I apologize friends but I'm on my way back from crabbing in the kayak I went to bodega bay <clears throat> again by myself I left my house at 5 a.m. on Sunday morning and got to Bodega Bay Campground, Doran, I think it's called Doran Park, Doran Park. I got there at like 7.30 and put a bunch of crab traps out in the, in the harbor trying to catch some crab. It's crab season in San Francisco and if you've ever had Dungeness crab, you know why so many people like to catch crab because it is one of the best tasting things in the world. This is my third time going to uh, Bodega Bay in the kayak. I just got this kayak about two months ago and thank God I got it when I did because I, at the time I said I had some money. I just finished a well paying, a good paying job and I said if I don't get this kayak now, there's going to be a time very soon where I'm probably going to, I could run out of money and I will regret not getting this thing. Well, that time has a, has approached because it's the holidays and nobody is getting their houses painted. And I've had so many jobs fall through. I have no work. I have literally have no work, at least this week. I had no work. I had very little work last week and I have no work this week. So I spent last night and today kayaking. And I had a job scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, and uh, when I got to the when I got to the uh, campground, I got a text from this person that I was supposed to be painting for tomorrow, and she said uh, the job is canceled. I have to postpone the job until after the first of the year. I'm sorry for the late notice. <laughs> so I'm out of work, and I have no money coming in this week. So starts off not on a great note. So I go out. I'm out there crabbing all day yesterday, dropping traps and every. So I was out there literally all day. I came, I dropped the traps, checked them for about two hours, left them out there, came back in, had a beer, went back out. I must have gone in and out probably four times. And it's pretty, it's been pretty cold out there. The water's freezing and it was cold outside. It was like, I don't know, 40 degrees outside. I had a wetsuit. So when I'm out there paddling and stuff, I kept warm and things. But uh, yesterday I got I got uh, seven Dungeness crab and I got about five rock crab, which was enough for a crab feast. So I invited Chucky. 
my good friend Shockey from the Metal Moment Podcast, who's probably doing the 12 days of podcasting as well as we speak. And I also invited my friend David Benda over. So we're going to have a crab feast tomorrow. I'm not sure if they're coming or not, but I've got a shitload of crab. Uh, well, anyway, I told it, I invited them if I was going to get crab. Well, I got seven crab yesterday, which is enough for a crab feast. And I left my the crab pots out overnight. And I uh, this time I pitched the tent because it was... It was uh, no rain. I had a fire. And I was by myself drinking beers. And got pretty, pretty well buzzed. Enjoyed sitting by the fire, eating some. I ate a couple of the rock crabs, and they were delicious. Uh, steamed some crabs up and had some uh, leftover black eyed peas. Got pretty buzzed. Went to lay down in the. Uh, tent to start watching I downloaded Ash vs. Evil Dead onto my phone started watching that and I lasted about a minute and a half and I passed out I was so tired from pulling up traps and and, and paddling all um, all day by the way if you're listening to Mad at Dad we're doing a Mad at Dad tonight I'll probably tell this story again on Mad at Dad maybe probably a little, a little different detail so I don't, may or may not be waste but Probably a lot of people who listen to Mad at Dad are not friends of the, or don't listen to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. So, I'd left all the traps out last night, and uh, mid, halfway, I woke up in the middle of the night uh, thinking about drinking coffee in the morning, what I have to look forward to. I wake up in the morning and brew some coffee and sit out by the, by the uh, fire and have, have a cup of coffee before I go crabbing. And I realized, oh shit, I forgot to buy milk. And I didn't want black coffee, so I, I thought about it and said, well, I can't really think when I'm not, when I haven't had my coffee. I'm co- pulling up to the toll booth here, so you're going to hear me uh, giving this person money. So I, I thought, well, there's a 7 Eleven uh, not too far away from the campground. There's a. Uh, coffee shop as well in the little uh, town of Bodega, which in coincident or fun fact, they filmed the birds, Alfred Hitchcock birds, uh, in this little town of Bodega. Oh, there's this guy pulling for it. I got to give this lady my money. Hold on a second while I give this woman my money. All right. Thank you. He looks at the five dollar bill and makes sure it was not counterfeit. Are there counterfeit fives? Huh. All right. Well, it wasn't counterfeit. So I so I say, all right. Well, I'm going to go get some coffee because I can't think straight before I have coffee. And I pull out it, pull out, go to the coffee shop, get a cup of coffee. Raring to go. I'm sitting in my uh, car, thinking about. Okay, I'm going to record a uh, uh, 12 days of podcasting episode today. I'll probably talk about my crab adventures. And then I uh, go out, you know, I, I go to put on my wetsuit, and where the hell's my wetsuit? And I think, oh, wait a minute, I had it hanging on the side of my truck last night to dry, and I drove to the coffee shop with my wetsuit on my car! Oh, no! Sorry for overmodulating, friends. So I freak out for a second and think, oh, man. So I start, I retrace my steps. I, I pull out, start looking. I saw a sock on the road. Oh, that sock looks like mine. Oh yeah, that's right. I had my socks hanging on the hanger to dry along with the wetsuit. I say, oh, that's not good. There's a sock there, but no wetsuit. So I drive all the way back to the coffee shop, very slowly, looking on both sides, no wetsuit. Drove back. I did not. I did not drive all the way to the coffee shop. I just drove to the entrance of the of the uh, park, thinking it must have fallen out of my car by th- fallen off my car by then. So I turned around, went back through the campground, looked, then asked the uh, campground host if somebody turned in a wetsuit, and she said no. Go ask the park ranger, which is up the street. So I went to the park ranger up the street. They said no. They said, you should trace your steps all the way back to the coffee shop. So I drove all the way back to the coffee shop, looked, no, no wetsuit. And I'm thinking, holy shit, man. I got to draw, I got to pull in these crab pots that have been out all night and I'm going to freeze to death because you, when you go out there, you get soaked. I mean, 
you get soaked with water. Between the water coming off the crab pots and between the waves splashing on you and the paddles, and you get soaked. And if you don't have a wetsuit on or a dry suit, you're going to freeze your ass off. Well, I had no wetsuit or dry suit, but I did have a pair of uh, war torn up uh, rain gear that I use to pressure wash houses when I'm painting. So I put that rain gear on. I duct tape the, the ankles on the pants and I duct tape the wrists on the on the jacket then put on my booties I had the booties they were on the car on the uh, <clears throat> picnic table they were not hanging on my car to dry fortunately so I went out there with rain gear taped to myself pulled in my traps uh, I got there were two more bi big Dungeness crab on in the pots and a shitload of rock crabs, of which only one I kept. So now I have nine crab and probably about six or seven rock crabs. So nine Dungeness and about six or seven rock crabs. So that's enough for a huge crab feast, which I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. I'm not gonna do not gonna do it tonight because I'm mad at Dad and I have Butler's practice because Butler's are playing in San Francisco on Friday, but I felt like a complete idiot. I'm walking around with rain gear taped to myself and all the other kayakers, I'm thinking this they're looking at this guy like he's a complete idiot out there, but I did it and now I'm on my way home. No work, no money, but, but so if you're thinking of donating the, to the show and no wetsuit, which I don't have the money to buy a new wet. So if, if so, if you're you were ever contemplating donating to the show, uh, now would be a good time, friends, because Christmas is here and I got no cash at all. I am dead fucking broke. But enough of my crying. That's day one of the do of the uh, twelve days of podcasting. A little bummer from the idiot crab man. All right, I will leave you now with a appropriate tune for the day. <coughs> Pardon me, I don't have a Tecate to wash this down, so I'm going to drink some white, some sweetened iced tea ah, that is in my not a Yeti knockoff koozie, but or uh, knockoff tumbler. It's an actual Yeti tumbler. Ah, still cold from yes, from two days ago. All right, friends, rockandrollgeek.com is where you can find the show. They're not all like this. Some are even worse. All right, find, the, find me on Facebook, r and Geek. Find me on the Twitter, r and Geek. Find me on the Instagram, rockandrollgeek. Don't ask. Send me an email, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. Tell me I'm wasting my time for doing the 12 days of, of podcasting or tell me that you love it. Either way. I appreciate your emails. And area code 706-621-ROCK. That's area code 706-621-7625. <sighs> or you can just email it. Record it on your phone. We record a comment or a show review on your phone. I will play it on the show. And just email it to rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. All right. A song that is fitting for me. Here's American Heartbreak. We will talk to you tomorrow.
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck. <laughs>